So do you rent your furniture or do you buy your furniture when you start your home staging business? This is our question of the day. You ask, we give you answers. We are Revisions Mentor and we are here to help you get your home staging business off the ground. This is the beginning of our Ask and Answer series. So if you drop us a comment below with your questions about starting your home staging business, we're gonna answer them in our upcoming videos. So let's dig into it. Do you rent, do you buy? When you're starting out in your staging business, what's the best way to get your inventory? Yeah, let's talk about the pros and cons of renting furniture. Okay. So I guess for us, Erin, we started mostly renting um, in we the did. beginning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, that was easy for us. Um, I think it was the easiest way for us to kind of get our heads around how to fully properly stage a home. Mm -hmm. And in our case, we were able to rent rooms in their entirety from a local furniture store. So that included um, not only the furnishings, but the rugs, the accessories, the art, the whole nine yards. It was really kind of a one-stop shop. It made the process of putting a room together really simple. Yes, but then the negative side of that is that your profit margins are much lower because you have to pay a rental to the company from which you're renting. Um, so you charge a markup for that. Uh, Another advantage to renting your inventory, you don't have to worry about storing it. You don't have to find a place for it uh, when you're done. It's true. And a lot of times they have movers associated with the furniture company or if they don't, they have connections to movers. So it's kind of a really good place to get your footing in the staging community. Thinking about the cons of renting furniture, um, I think one of the first things that comes to mind for us is the, the liability and the responsibility of taking on somebody else's stuff. Yes, yeah, yeah. so we all know that things kind of get damaged when they get moved around. So if you are renting furniture, then you're gonna be responsible for any of the damages that may occur to the inventory. So yeah, sometimes that can cut into your profit margins as well. And speaking of profit margins, your profit margin is going to be probably considerably less mm -hmm. if you're renting your inventory initially, um, just because you don't have that same room for negotiating um, that you do when you own all the inventory yourself. Yes, but we use rented inventory as a tool to really get us going in the beginning of our business. So to start out with, we would rent the entire house and our basic package would include your, all of your commons areas, right? Your entryway, your living room, your dining room, your um, kitchen accessories, um, often a kitchen breakfast nook, and then a powder room on the main level. Mm -hmm. um, and in the beginning, we would rent all of that, but then over time, we would start to accumulate our own furnishings. So we would have one, you know, a dining room set, and then we would rent the living room set. And then in doing so, when we would provide our quote to our homeowners, we would we would get to keep that much more of the rental on, on each renewal right because it was our own inventory and it paid for itself much quickly much more quickly yeah and we slowly built that way mm -hmm. you know first we were um, providing one room of our own and renting the other two then we were providing two rooms of our own inventory and renting the third and until we eventually got to the point that we had enough inventory to do a house on our own on our own yeah. right so that kind of leads into the next question um, how many houses do you buy at one time? And we say one at a time. Yeah. You know, once you've accumulated one full living room set, one dining room set, you know, all of your accessories, and if you choose to do the master bedroom as well, once you've accumulated all of that inventory, then you can use the profits from using that staging inventory in a project to build your next household worth of inventory. Right. So, do you have questions? Do you have comments? Do you like what you're hearing? Subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the notifications so you can see what our upcoming videos are going to be. Let us know what you wanna hear from us and uh, access our free downloads. We've got tons of tools that you can get and use to help you get going in your home staging business. Yep, all you have to do is click on the link below and drop us an email and we'll send you free downloads and we'll keep you up to date about projects that we have coming up and other ways that we can help you build your home staging business. So to recap, rent versus buy when you're starting out in home staging. In our estimation, renting is the easiest way to go to get your foot in the door when you start out in this business, particularly if you don't have um, extra income to purchase a bunch of inventory. And um, if you're new and just trying to figure out how to, how to make it all happen, it can make your life easy.
It can. And then over time, start to accumulate your own inventory. Buy one room at a time for one house at a time and then expand from there. And over time, you will be pleasantly surprised to see how quickly you get a return on your investment.